So Material Electrical started 12 years ago. Um, we started off with four people, two tradesmen and two apprentices, and we've now got 60 staff with uh, 40 of those being tradesmen and 20 of those being apprentices, so we've, we've come a long way. I started Bar Melco Electrical in 2005. That was working throughout the town, throughout the Pilbara, domestic, commercial, industrial, mining. Picked up the contract with Woodside which we currently have a few guys working out on the FPSOs. And the business has now travelled from um, one employee to around 30 employees. So my name is Niall Miles. I uh, lead the Northwest Shelf Project on behalf of Woodside, the operator. So my involvement to date in Woodside's Reconciliation Action Plan has really been twofold. Initially back in 2011, I was part of a team that reviewed the targets to ensure they were both challenging and achievable, but also that they could be operationalised through our business. Since then, of course, my role as leading the Northwest Shelf project and having oversight of 50% of Woodside's operational spend is really to achieve those targets and to ensure where we can, we can improve upon those targets and do better with our Indigenous business participation. We had been trying for years to break into the oil and gas industry and we had absolutely no success. We did not know who to turn to until Connie called me one day, introduced herself and said, how would you like to come to our office and have a meeting? And from there, things just seemed to flow really smoothly. Yeah, so it came about at a Supply Nation Perth event where you get to meet um, other members of Supply Nation and I was lucky enough to meet Connie there and she spoke to her about how we were keen to get in the oil and gas industry and she sort of gave us the opportunity to talk to her and other members of Woodside and they guided us through the process of what our business needed to do to work in the oil and gas sector and look today it's um, we're up here working which has been you know, a tap on the back for both parties. So Woodside has a long and proud history of 30 years of operations in the North West and engaging Indigenous businesses from our community in which we operate is an important part of our contribution to the local community. Approximately 80% of all operational spend is through our contractors. That creates a super opportunity for Indigenous business participation and direct and meaningful impact in the creation of wealth in those local communities. Although it wasn't an easy transition initially to offshore because we hadn't really had that experience, they did mentor us through the process. Their contracts manager sort of nurtured and steered us in the right direction. It was approximately about an 18 month process between the initial concept being put through to us and landing a person on the platform. We're based at the Caratha gas plant and the Pluto LNG plant and our contract is to do the hazardous inspection which is the EHA contract up here. So we're going around the plant looking for anything that's hazardous when it comes to electrical equipment to make sure that there's no faults um, on that equipment and we have to do this regularly so we're making sure that we're doing preventative maintenance. Supply Nation have effectively provided us um, two sorts of services. The first is that they provide a really effective independent verification service so that we truly know that we're dealing with an Indigenous business. And the second is that they provide a range of really good training solutions for us through both internal staff activities and some with our contractors through their first step training program. I think the Supply Nation initiative is, is absolutely vital for Indigenous businesses. Although we're out there all competing not only against each other but the broader community, you get lost in the numbers, be it Indigenous or not. Those businesses seeking our services, a lot of confidence in, in going to Supply Nation and I think Woodside not only can rely on that but they also add to that how they have engaged us offshore. I was present the day the three contractors signed 
the maintenance contracts at the visitor centre at Karatha Gas Plant and in breaking this ground these businesses are charting a path into a much bigger and wider opportunity set in the whole oil and gas business. These opportunities that Supply Nation and Woodside have created for our business has given us opportunity, given us the tools to be able to take on young Indigenous guys through apprenticeships. We appreciate that immensely and so we want to give that back and push that as far as we can. We want to expand and, and, and see where we can go with it all.